this one. Yeah. Let's go. Is it? Welcome back to another video. So this video is test fitting the wheels part two. To be honest, I'm fed up with it. There's so much work involved with just trying to get wheels, tyres that fit without rubbing. So this is it, this is the final part. However I get it done today is how the car is going to sit on its wheel and tyre set up. Like, I'm itching to get on to the next product. Uh, product? I'm itching to get on with the next project. So today is the final time that these bad boys are going to go on. I've got me spacers, I've got me wheel nuts, I've got everything I need. Um, and also, I am going to have to cut. I don't have to cut it, I want to and I'm going to cut some of my rear arches off. Although they're freshly painted, freshly fitted, should have cut it all before. I like to live dangerously, so I'm gonna cut it now while it's in the car, fitting the wheels. So, come on, let's go, let's get this done for the last time. Let's see how this thing is gonna look on these wheels and tires. Bad boys, right, let's get to it. First step, jack up the car. This centre jack and bar is awesome. It is absolutely amazing. I highly recommend it to everyone. Next, I have got this bad boy. That is a 30, that is a 30 mil spacer. Bearing in mind my wheels are nearly 12J or just over 12J anyway. So, bang him on. Always been a bit skeptical on spacers. People hate them, people slate them. And then people say as long as they're fitted properly and like the correct measurement to me, and they're dug up to the right torque specs, then shouldn't really be a problem. To be honest, most drift cars these days are running spaces anyway, so this is my version of torque specking them up. I put the gun onto Ugga Dugga mode. There we go. Right then. Let's get the wheel. good. Right then. So, I've got myself some new wheel nuts. Picking a colour was quite hard. Black, yeah fair enough. Chrome wouldn't have gone. I actually went for that neochrome stuff. Um, the only reason I've gone for the neochrome is because of the steering wheel. So anyone that watches the channel or follows my Instagram will understand that these match my steering wheel. Right then, I will try and find a decent place to set you up so we can all witness the shit fitment. Hey. Right, let's see how this turns out. Hmm, see it looks a lot better from here. So, what I meant by the rear arch Basically, you can see where the car, it, the, the arches are bonded to the car, and then I purposely didn't bond it to the bumper or use the final bolt hole there, because I had a feeling I wanted to do this. I want to be able to see all this meat of this tyre from behind the car. So I think the next step is we're going to have to get the hacksaw out. So that's the fender cut to the line I'm cutting to. Obviously, this is gonna to have to be repainted by the body shop. So their new line, when they cut and come to repaint, will be something like that. So there's still that much more to come off. So whip this wheel on quickly. Same again on the other side.
Right, so now that's done, two problems I have encountered. One is in the beginning I intended to run the full kit, so I cut the bumper, but that's no biggie anyway. I was gonna have the bumper redone because where I relocated the exhaust, although I cut the new cut for it, the old one is still there and that's always bugged me. So the next bumper, that will be filled in. These bits won't be cut. Also, it is due back to the body shops and a few touch-ups anyway, so this will be smoothed and painted and this bit will be removed to give me that lots of chunky tyre look. Right, next up it's uh, front wheel spacers and front extended studs. So I've got myself a little helper today. Can to come in darling? Yeah. Now come on. Come stand here, show me hoodie. Come here, show me hoodie. Look at that. How cool is that? And on the front. Right darling. Do you want to jack the car up for me? Yeah, go on then. So with this pole, you need to push it down. That's it, and then up. And then down, that's it, that's it. That's it, keep going darling. Yeah, it is, keep going. I need more, I need you to go up more. Faster. Oh, it was too hard no, it's not even to get down. That's it, spot on. Great job darling. Right, ready? You're going to hold this with me. Hold the gun with me. Ready? Go! That's it, come on. That's it, stop, 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 stop. Next one. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Ready? Go! Come on, push it down. Bit more. Stop. That's it, stop. You're good at this. Go! Spot on, look at that. That's all the wheel nuts on, darling. If you stand up out of the way, let me show you. You stand there, watch. Ready? Off. Daddy, off. Careful, my foot. No. You nutter. I put it there for you. Spot on, thanks, darling. Right, so next, we need to take the brake caliper off. Uh-huh. And you get the spanner on there. Right. So come here, darling. Darling, can you see this lever? Yes. Same what we did over there, so, like that. Go on, then. That's it, keep going. Spot on. Keep going. Next one's here. Same again. Do what you're just doing with the lever. That's it. Keep going. Keep going. I'll tell you when to stop. Good job. So next step is knock the old wheel studs out. So usually... Do you want to have a go? Hit that one with the hammer. Wait. No, no. So you hit it dead off. That's it. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Yay! That's it. That's the way you look. You've done it look. We unwind that off. And we pull the old Line one out. It off. Yeah. Do you want to have another go? Yes. Right. You're done. Go on, go in. Yeah, go on, you hit them out from the So next step is putting the extended studs in, there's usually, well, if you've got the hub off, you press them in, if you've got the hub still on the car, you put them in, locate them up, put a spacer of some sort on the end, you wheel up. Can you pass me the gun behind you, please, darling? I want to do the gun. Hang on. No, just... Have to be careful with this bit. Oh. Oh, God. Put the wrong one on the end, didn't I? You put the wrong one on.
You quickly finish the, your, your lunch. You can finish them off if you want quickly. Right, so we're having dramas here. The good GoPro battery died. Um, the apprentice has stopped for lunch. Um, what have you got? What are you eating there? What are they? Pringles. You've got to show the camera what is it you eat. Pringles. Nice. Also, with the GoPro battery dying and having lunch break, the extended studs don't fit. This is the second set I've had that do not fit. So, you have to put the old studs back in until we sort all of that out. So, um, yeah, let's get that sorted. without the extended wheel studs I can't fit these but I will try again. So I've managed to get the wheel on with the 15mm spacer and without the extended studs. Um, I'm not going to drive it like that until I've got the right studs because it's they're literally held on by a couple of threads. But um, let's drop it down, see how it looks. We need to be careful of this bit. Oh. What do you need to do? Ready? And we're going to twist it gently. Gently, gently, that's it, that's it. Slowly, gently, slowly. Gently, slowly. There we go. Right. Do you want to pull this out for me? Second, <laughs> not the pole, the jack. The jack. Yeah. Come on. Come on. That's it, pull. Pull, 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 pull. It is, yeah, there we go. Right, well, that's that side done. So, me and the apprentice will uh, move on to the other side, shall we? Uh -huh. Do the same again on the other side? Yes. You ready? That's it, I'm going to put them up. And then you can you need to get the handle. Should I get the light? Uh, just the handle for now, darling. Come on then. Same again. Up, down. Don't you know, pump it up. You got to pump it up. Don't you know, pump it up. How <laughs> do? We take it out so it's nice and safe and we don't trip over it. Right, we need to do some gunning. Again, you want to come in and help with this, Adam? No, no, yes. Ah. Each one's a different size. Right. This one. Keep going. A bit more. 
Look at that. That's what we like. Looking, darling. Mm. It's got to be around there somewhere. Then I got the light for you. I don't need the light, darling. I need the spanner. Where's the spanner? Mm. I can't find it. Are you sure you can't find it? Okay then, don't worry about the spanner. Okay. I got the hammer! Christ! We don't need the hammer, darling. <laughs> we have got the blue bit though. You get to use the blue one. Yes, I love blue! Yay! Yeah. Right, okay. and this time, a little bit at a time, so... Yeah? yeah. Now we need to lower it down again. Hang on. Right, so you hold this like this. Mm -hmm. Hold it like this for me then. Ready? Slowly let it move back a bit. Does it move back? Move back because the jack's going to go. Slide back a bit. Ready? And again. There we go. Now you can pull that out. Mind your hands and fingers. There we go. Good job. Are we going to do the back ones? I've done the back ones already. Hi. Why? Does it, does it not look very good at the back? It looks good at the back. It does look good at the back. Can we take these tapes? No, we can't unfortunately. Why? Because it will get rubbed off when it gets driven. Uh. You're a cutie, isn't you? Are them? Did you buy this one? Yeah. It looks cool. I thought we'd get her out in the sunlight after my apprentice help. There was some rubbing going on, just reversing it back. I'm going to have to find out where that was from. Good lord, look at that. <laughs> look at that proper wonky wheel, that, isn't it? What do you reckon then? Thumbs up? Still some work to be done. It's what? never easy this. What did you say Daniel? I said there's still some work to be done darling. Why? Because it's not all fitting properly. We did, we did try indeed darling, you're right.
on Thunder? What? Are you on Thunder? Yes. You get paid by the hour to work, not to dance. What? I said you're getting paid to dance, uh, work, not to dance. Paid at work? I said you're getting paid to work, not to dance. <coughs> paid to work? Come here, stand there. Why? Right. Oh, Christ. You have fun today? Yes. So, that's the end of the video. <laughs> We've done all we need to do today. Uh-huh. You did well? Yes. <laughs> so, how much chocolate is this costing me? Um, 600. 600 chocolates? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm going to need to get a bigger car. <laughs> right. So, thank you for watching, guys. Obviously, there's still some work to be done on my part. And then the body shop can finish it off. Um, they're going to love me when I come back. By now, I've cut up their, their nice hard work. Um, so, still, we're going to be hunting for longer extended front wheel stuff. <laughs> you don't have to keep babies on. Um, yeah, longer front extended wheel studs and shaving away some more of the body kit. That's, um, that's the one's the best video. Was that the best video? So you, yes. you watch all my videos, don't you? Yeah. My number one fan right here and now my best apprentice. <laughs> Wait. Good job. <laughs> so, if you've liked today's video, Please press the like button, and if you have liked it and you are pressing the like button, what? Subscribe! You need to subscribe to the channel. Because if we get more likes, we get you some more work. Yes. We get you working on other cars and stuff. Yay! Yeah. So, like, subscribe, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Gutted that my new camera ran out of battery halfway through and went back to the old camera, but hopefully footage is still pretty good. Um, so I suppose we better get home and buy 600 drink chocolates. <laughs> right, good job today. Thank you very much. See you guys next time. Say bye. Bye bye. Bye. Yeah, that was the best. That was the best, wasn't it? Yes. Did you enjoy that? Yeah. That, Maybe. that was, why did you tell me to subscribe? No, it's subscribe. Subscribe? You got a... Say so you need to subscribe to the channel. Back on them Pringles again. What are they gonna do? Wait. Subscribe to the Daniel's channel. Wait.